Indonesia's nickel industry has continuously attracted billions of dollars worth of foreign investment in recent years. The government themselves successfully positioned the country by showcasing its abundance of nickel reserves, implementing proper business-friendly policies, and banning the exportation of raw nickel materials. Because of these myriad opportunistic moments, Indonesia can now vie to become a global electric vehicle and battery manufacturing hub, one that is led by its nickel reserves and one that will encapsulate a huge market share in the entire EV world. However, amongst the many major investments made in Indonesia and its nickel industry, one company also stands out. Most people would probably imagine that the big investments would come from traditional automakers such as Toyota or even Volkswagen. On the other hand, some can speculate that the largest investments are even coming from emerging automotive companies such as Tesla. But none of these, in fact, are going to be amongst the largest foreign investors in Indonesia's nickel and electric vehicle industry. The company that we are going to mention is headquartered all the way in Taiwan and is known as Foxconn one of the country's largest companies ever, but is a name you may have never heard of before. Foxconn, also known as Hanhai Precision Industry Corporation, is the world's largest technology manufacturer and service provider. The company is currently valued at around 46 billion US dollars and has annual reserves of about 223 billion dollars, which makes them the 23rd largest company in the entire world in terms of revenues. Yet, as mentioned earlier, local Indonesia have probably never heard of Foxconn. Well, this is because the technology manufacturer is, in fact, unique. Foxconn itself is a manufacturer of many electronic products, famously for the likes of iPhones, Nokia devices, two Sony devices such as the PlayStation, to so much more. Foxconn even reports that it employs more than a million people. Yes, it is as if the company itself is as big as a country, as it might not be an exaggeration to do so. Hence, it is so important to understand why Foxconn, a smartphone manufacturer and technology service provider, is now seeking to enter the electric vehicle space, in doing so, choosing Indonesia as one of its bases. Their investment in Indonesia, which was announced on February 9, 2022, stated that the Taiwanese company will launch an $8 billion investment in Indonesia to manufacture electric vehicles. $8 billion as an initial investment is, quite frankly, huge. This is because the $8 billion is just an initial investment, which has historically proven if the company is found to be successful in a country, it would go on to invest more money down the line. Furthermore, the $8 billion even triumphs that of most other foreign investments made by other automotive brands. For instance, the biggest car maker known as Toyota has only announced a $2 billion investment project to build electric vehicles in Indonesia. On the other hand, Chinese conglomerate Contemporary Amperex Technology Corporation, also known as the biggest lithium-ion battery manufacturer for electric vehicles, has only announced a $5.2 billion investment. These two, so far, are already amongst the largest announced investments made so far, and while they are also so huge, they are still overshadowed by Foxconn. Some can argue, however, that Foxconn is investing massively because of its need for an initial start. Since, well, Toyota and other automakers already have their own businesses established in Indonesia, it still likewise should show just how much potential and money Foxconn has compared to other major business brands. But anyway, Foxconn's $8 billion is not even the most amazing part of this investment. What is even more amazing is the fact that Foxconn is an electronic manufacturer. Its business is mostly defined in the smartphone industry, manufacturing iPhones phones and other smartphone devices. But why did this electronic producer somehow end up creating a car? Well, it should not even be surprising anymore after hearing the trends of most companies globally. For example, Sony announced its own electric car, whereas Apple had also planned to take this opportunity. Hence, a race to cultivate this massive opportunity is upending the entire automotive world. Now, here's why this is so important for both Indonesia and Foxconn. The Taiwanese company's investments of about $8 billion is to target one crucial vision, as reported by CNBC, which is to build 5% of the world's electric cars by 2025. 
a massive ambition in just a short period of time since the very same announcement was just made sometime around 2022, which, in fact, means that in just three short years, Foxconn, a smartphone manufacturer, wishes to enter a highly competitive electric vehicle zone and immediately engulf over a 5% market share. That is why their factory in Indonesia is immediately taking off. The hopes to construct arguably hundreds of thousands of electric vehicles and their parts as fast as it can. Furthermore, helping Indonesia's economy to grow in this particular industry should even make the case that Indonesia is going to attract more electric vehicle investments from other major companies. But the vehicle itself is not even limited to Foxconn dreams. TechHQ once reported that Foxconn wants to provide components and services to some of the brands hoping to provide electric vehicles. The company aims to acquire a 10% market share. This would further benefit Indonesia as it will participate in this electric vehicle components and services. Finally, let us discuss Foxconn's plants in Indonesia and what has come about so far in its ventures with local companies. The $8 billion investment made by Foxconn was for a 200-hectare plant in an industrial zone called Batang of Central Java. This is going to be used to manufacture battery cells, cathode precursors, and telecommunication spare parts in addition to the vehicle, as stated by an Indonesian investment minister. Foxconn, on the other hand, had partnered up with a local company, initiating what is called a joint venture. The local company participating is reported to be a state-owned Indonesian battery corporation along with Indica Energy, which has then created the Foxconn Indica Motor Company. The more specific details on what the joint venture is, at the very least to our knowledge, unknown yet on questioning whether Indica or another Indonesian company will participate in all of the $8 billion of Foxconn's investments, or if it will be just a small part of the investment. The only detail left out by the company that we've found is that the joint venture is reported to develop lithium batteries and manufacture commercial vehicles such as electric buses. The reason why Indica Energy was chosen is also not stated, but presumably we can speculate the Indonesian company itself has massive experiences. It is involved in the country's energy sector, logistics, minerals, and even digital ventures. The Indonesian Battery Corporation is likewise a massive business that aims to help foreign companies to establish a free-flowing battery and electric vehicle business in Indonesia. It is a company backed by four major firms known as Pertamina, PLN, Mining Industry, and Antum. Finally, Foxconn itself has stated that it will use it to manufacture electric vehicles and some parts. However, just what are these electric vehicles? The company said that they want to manufacture electric buses. Will it be the Model T that the company reports on its website? Or will it also be Model C and E? The company's blueprint for its upcoming brands is very exciting exciting, but who knows what kind of models they will make in their plants in Indonesia. The final note about Foxconn's investments is that, is Indonesia the only country they are investing in? Well, before we answer that, in fact, it has been known that the Indonesian government hasn't long been trying to court Foxconn for investment, one that dates way back to 2015. However, it was not only until 2022 that the investment was made. Another fact that should be known is that the $8 billion is one part of two announced investments. The other investment that Foxconn hoped to invest in is Indonesia's new capital. Foxconn has stated that they are looking to set up electric buses in the capital city and implement an Internet of Things network. Anyway, let's go back to our question on Foxconn's chosen manufacturing investments. They actually have other plants other than in Indonesia. The company itself has reported that they have two countries where they are participating, one in the United States and the other in Thailand. The U.S. is probably going to be its largest destination. Foxconn has purchased many old plants, such as the GM assembly plant in Lordstown, for a small price of $230 million, a move that will enable Foxconn to assemble the American company's electric pickup vehicle. On the other hand, Thailand is also a massive destination. Its plant in Thailand is reported to produce around 150,000 to 200,000 electric vehicles annually. The total investment announced by Foxconn towards Thailand is approximately $2 billion. Do take note, however, that even though Indonesia is not the only sole place for them to manufacture, these other nation plants are also as important for Indonesia. 
If an electric car, for instance, is to be manufactured in Thailand, some parts manufactured in Indonesia can be exported there, such as the lithium batteries. But anyway, Foxconn's wave in Indonesia is just the start. And when we mean it's just the start, we mean that it is possible that they can continue to expand their investment in the archipelago country. And who knows by how much? Do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.